Hey everyone, welcome back to another week of The, the Build. Uh, this week I decided to do a little bit different than normal because I've been working on the chassis for so long and um, I need to kind of get the top in place so that way I know where it's going to go so I can do um, the tubes and, and brackets and all that stuff for it. So what I decided to do was this week work on the top. Um, I didn't think it was going to take as long as it did, but it is. So let me show you some of what's going on. So this all started because uh, Wayne was nice enough to send me a template, which that, that paper copy right there, off of his original um, Aventador uh, monocue that he has. So he made, he made this nice template for me, uh, which goes on here nice, which shows me just how bad the back of this and the sides are. I believe the top, the section up here, is probably pretty accurate in length and width and all that's accurate but i think the sides the sides over here and the back was i think they just took their um, artistic liberties with that one and just kind of went with it uh, let me give you a few examples what you can see there on the bottom the top is okay for the window and the sides they miraculously got those right but when you come down to the bottom what you can see here is this is where the bottom of mine ends, but this is where the bottom of the original one ends. So I'm probably gonna have to cut it here, cut the sides because you can't really see it, but it um, it actually gets smaller as it comes down. So I'll have to move this down and then redo the angle and all that stuff. That's probably the easiest part of it. Uh, as I mentioned a week or so ago, let me uh, yep, bounce out here. Um, I need to cut the firewall out and bring it in five eighths of an inch, which will line up with this, which actually may end up being a little bit more because um, what I found was this section right here is too um, shallow. This is a nice template that Scott sent me, the same guy that sent me this template. Um, and what you can see is if I put that on here, it's, it's off a little bit right here. It's a little too high here. But let me move to this section here. Um, let's see if you can actually see it right here. You can see that's got to go in a lot. I'd say probably maybe three eighths of an inch if I look at how far up this is. So um, I'm going to ask Wayne if he could take some angles for me so I know, you know, is it... Is this angled down, angled up, straight across? I don't know. Um, I don't know how far back in the window's gotta go. I know it's gotta go in, um, cause it's just not deep enough. So it, that's gotta get pushed, pushed in, let me back up a little. So this whole section here needs to go in. Um, so that way this will sit and be be flush on the ends um the other area i found that was off is in this front section so you can see right here where scott had put the template for me this section right here should be right here and this lip should be right there on this so that's off and here's the template he sent me for the front and you can see it matches you can see right there let me zoom in again. Hold on. So when I put this in place and square this back off, it's kind of hard to hold with the camera, but basically that's where that would go. And you can see it's nice and square. It's right there. Um, that would line up nice. Um, yeah, so all, all of this section in here will need to come out up to about here from here over was okay except for the very end here which i'll have to trim up a little but the window i'm going to probably just cut it here take this section move it out and then uh, i'll have to reshape the window after um, so yeah that's what i've been spending my time with today working on all this just getting this stuff to somewhat line up not the easiest you can see how even it's it's too wide right here so what i gotta do is i gotta 
cut down this line, cut right on the edge, and then pull that in. I'm probably going to have to, um, I'm probably going to have to splice it. I'll bounce it back out because um, Scott was nice enough to make me this template, which has a nice, you can see right there, he drew the curve on it for me. So that's what the curve will look like. And you can see that, maybe you can't, but you can see right there, there's, there's a gap, almost a finger width in here. So not only does this gotta go in, but it curves in as it does it to get back to that point there. So that'll, that'll be curved in there. So I'll have to, I'll probably put some score lines in it and then bend it over. That's going to be fun. And I got to figure out how to do this without, um, if I take all that out first, I'm not going to have any structure for the roof and I could lose its shape. So what I'm thinking I'll probably do, go back in, is cut this out here and then on both sides and then cut the roof section out slide it forward to where it's supposed to be, get that bonded in, and then start on this section. I think that'll be the best way to keep the roof structure and then only do one side at a time. So yeah, that's what I've been working on all day, just hanging up tape and paper and, and whatnot. It's always fun. Maybe tomorrow I'll actually do some chassis work or I'll continue with this, who knows. All right, so I started cutting things out. You can see right here, this is all loose now. So I'm in the process of cutting, cutting this section out. I've done both sides this way and uh, I might be able to get a good bend out of it. So I might not need to do any splicing once I finish cutting that up. So we'll see, I just left a little bit more up here so it doesn't fall on me while I continue on that side. I do have to thank Dale for uh, suggesting using this. It's been great, little little bit of dust, but not much, and uh, nice clean cut. So thanks, Dale. Well, starting to make a little progress. I got that all pulled in. I got to figure out exactly how that goes and how deep this is. Um, I thought this was supposed to be a template for for it to go in but it doesn't line up anywhere so i'm not sure exactly what it is it might have been just used for making the, the making sure i had the right curvatures and stuff i'm not sure but i have the the top sitting in place it's all been cut out it's it's a little thinner i wish i was that easy for me a uh, little thinner on that side i pulled it in so now when the template goes in place it sits beautifully. You can see it's right on the edge, like it's supposed to be. Um, I still have to cut this, move it forward, but I'll do that later. Um, so it's making some good progress. All right, I've been working on this for most of the day today, and um, I keep running into a problem where if I put this up in the corner, like it's supposed to be, when I come over to here, you can see that this isn't square. It's square nice up in here, but then it kind of feathers out as it goes down. So if I rotate this down, it, get, it gets this into position, but I can't put it up anymore. So what I'm hoping is I can find somebody that has an OEM top that could tell me or make a, a template for this angle right here. I think this needs to be cut out well, it definitely needs to be cut out because this is supposed to be sharp, not this rounded over edge. But I think I need to cut this out and then slide it backwards and lift it up a little. Because I'm pretty sure that this is probably going to be up flush here. And if that happens, then it'll square this edge off. And then that'll be fine. Uh, Wayne was also nice enough to send me... Well, this is a... A cardboard version of the paper version that he sent me and I have two marks on here this mark here is what it looks like in the photo that I have where it should go but if I put this in place let me back 
this up a little. So if I put this in place right here, you can see that it looks like it's a little out. So I'm not sure if I just have the scale wrong because I'm trying to edit over a picture. I think this also needs to come in a little, so it might be close. Might have to do a little bit more cutting to get this to fit right. And then that'll, that'll give me this edge here. And um, I've printed out a bunch of, oops, I, needed it. I printed out a couple of things so I can see what's going on that I found on online. And um, this picture is good, but it's hard to see. So what, what it looks like is happening is this inner piece, which is that top piece kind of folds in and then this feathers out to the edge in all these different angles. And then you got another section here, which is this part right here would be um, where the window sits. I said it's the window, but this is the window piece. So that's just flat right there. Then you got this piece that comes up and kind of looks like it transitions out and like right to abrupt end. I know it's kind of hard. And it looks like there's a little bit of a lip feathering out. So how I'm gonna transfer that to this has yet to be decided, but I'm making some progress. Um, I took some measurement off the template I have. It's uh, 113 centimeters from point to point. So, and right now I'm at 113 and a half, so I have to take off a little bit more off each side, which will bring it in a little more. But I'm getting there slowly but surely. So I'd like to thank everyone who follows me or who just watches the videos. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and thank you.